Last but not least, we have advanced orders. Next to the intermediate tab, simply press advanced. Now again, you can see we've just gone slightly more complicated, with just a few more options to throw into the mix. Let's stick with XRP USD again. Now you have the limit, you have settle position or you have market. Now of course, if you had a running trade, you could settle the position at the original order price. However, we do not have that right now. So what we'll do is we'll stick with buy again at the current market price. Now let's just say we wanted to buy 5,000 XRP. That works out to just under 1,290 USD. So you can set the best price. You can set your limit price should you need to set a limit order or a buy order. This will enter you at the price you need to get in at. Or for example, you believe XRP is going to go to 40 cents or 30 cents. You can simply enter that here or you can put just under that price or just over that price and it will trigger you just under or over that region. However, it is better to put a fixed number so you're buying in at the most accurate price possible. So let's stick to market price. That's how much it would cost us to buy 5,000 XRP. Leverage is not selected as we do not have the USD in the account. We have XRP. But you could obviously do times five your position. I wouldn't really recommend trying to set an order on the market at a random point in time and trying to pick and choose when. The market's too crazy for that right now. So everything should be at market price and as soon as possible. Expires. You can change this if you like, but again, good until cancelled. If it doesn't hit, you know the price has probably gone away from this region already. So you've missed your opportunity. It's better to just buy in now. The currency, again, we did cover this in the previous lesson. However, if you want to change the fees and you can take it out of the XRP instead, you can do so here. Now, this is where it gets a bit interesting. You have conditional close. So you can actually choose where to take profit and how to close your position properly. This depends on a various amount of factors. So you can choose the market price. If you need to settle XRP at the best market price, for example, you may have a running position right now, or you can just set another limit order. I want to close this should XRP reach 50 cents. Cool. Or you can do percentage of market price, maybe 5% from the current market price it's at now. Press buy, 5% profits time, the position will close. Very overcomplicated stuff. And I do 100% agree with just sticking with simple order, pressing market. You want to buy XRP, great. You want to buy 500 XRP, press buy, the order is done. This technical stuff is not needed in crypto and it will just wipe out your account very, very fast. So yeah, for peace of mind, stick with simple. If you want to over leverage, then please follow my steps to do this correctly. I do not want anybody here getting burnt, losing a lot of money, or over leveraging without having stop losses in place. Crucial, crucial stuff, guys. Now let's move on to quite an interesting lesson, actually, and that is advanced charting tools. See you guys in the next lesson.